I'm going to be cooking a little Gulf shrimp and grits for you all today. Uh, you know, perfect, perfect breakfast food, perfect dinner food, kind of all around. Uh, I don't think it really discriminates seasonally either. I think it's great in the winter when it's cold and great in the summer at the beach. Uh, my recipe is super simple. I think anybody could do it. Uh, might come out a little different each time, but it's delicious and uh, we'll get to it. Uh, some of the tricks to it, obviously the, f the fresher the shrimp, the better. And here we have some uh, real pretty, pretty large uh, Gulf brown shrimp. You can really tell uh, freshness or quality if they still have that uh, kind of greenish blue color in the tail. You can tell it's high quality and of course just by looking at them, if they look pretty, they're usually going to be good. And if they don't look pretty, they're usually not going to be good. <laughs> so this dish starts out with uh, some bacon. I use an applewood smoked bacon. Bacon's important in this dish because it's what gives it that kind of smoky, you know, smoky broth to go along with the, with the sweet shrimp. And we're just going to let that bacon render. You want to render it till it's golden brown and Basically, no, no more fats coming out of the bacon. It's all in the pan at that, at that point. Meanwhile, I just have a regular whole garlic clove here. And for the recipe, I like to slice it kind of like, uh, like they talk about in the, what is that, Goodfellas or the Godfather? Real thin, like, a, like you're slicing it with a razor blade. And then back here, I have my grits that I already started. I started them because they, they take quite a while and uh, the proper amount of liquid for the grits which is about two and a half or three to one and I like to use half milk just uh, whole milk and half water and a nice amount of butter and I start that liquid bring it up to a boil add my grits and uh, these grits take about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to cook well, uh, while Justin's bacon's rendering I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, I'm doing a, uh, a bronzed amberjack. Uh, it's going to be with some mixed greens and a little crawfish vinaigrette. And the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, with the fish, fresh fish, I already have it portioned out. It's about four and a half, five ounce portions. I'm going to put it on a um, paper towel, dry it off a little bit. It's important that you, any of the seafood that you have is, is really dry. You get a, if you want a, a crust on it when you're after you have it seasoned. Uh, it, makes a, it makes a huge difference if you're working with a dry product. So I'm going to dry all this off real good. <clears throat> Again, I'm Jude Tozan. I have a restaurant in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana called Village Cafe. We also do a little work for Tony Sashery's Creole Foods. Tony Sashery's. So we use a little Tony Sashery's to, uh, first I'm going to hit a little salt and a little cracked black pepper on the fish. And then uh, bronzing is just, it's a, uh, I call it bronzing instead of blackening. It's just a, a little bit of seasoning on the outside, not so much. And we're just going to get a little bronze color on it rather than a, than a, a black uh, char. So I season one side, I'm going to season the other. My pan is, uh, is already hot. And I actually preheated the oven uh, to about 400 degrees. And we're going to start this in the pan and then finish it off in the oven. This is going to take a couple of minutes. We're going to let it get some color on it on one side, a minute and a half, two minutes, and then we'll flip it over. Same process on the other side, and then we'll drop it in the oven. It's a little different of a method for shrimp and grits. A lot of people saute the shrimp. This is more of a poach that I do. So there's shallots and the sliced garlic. Those are just finely, finely minced shallots. I don't like to get any color on those, on those uh, on those two vegetables. White wine. Use a, a nice dry white wine. You know, cheap stuff. It's going to taste like shrimp and grits when it's done anyway, not wine. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and take our shrimp. You can kind of get, you can kind of get a whiff of the of the wine when you put it in and it smells that, that kind of alcohol smell. You don't want to put your shrimp in until the alcohol smell is gone and that's just about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. 
then my shrimp. So I just have them nestled in there, kind of next to each other, and they're just going to simmer like that for a minute in that white wine, garlic, bacon, shallot mixture. So you can see, I'll show you guys in a second, the, the fish has a good kind of bronze color to it. Uh, it's not overly dark. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, just let it cook down for just a couple of minutes and then like I said we'll finish it off in the oven. Uh, and then while that's in the oven we're going to make the, uh, the crawfish vinaigrette. They're starting to cook a little bit. Turn kind of pink. And uh, I'm going to add a few more ingredients now. Worcestershire, not a lot. I have a lot in this cup but I'm only going to add about a tablespoon and a half. Lemon juice, freshly squeezed. About another tablespoon and a half. Shiitake mushrooms. These have been roasted, just kind of uh, sauteed in oil and then a little bit of butter thrown in and then finished in the oven for, for about 10 minutes. And that's just gonna give this uh, shrimp and grits dish kind of a, a nice earthy uh, note to go along with that smokiness to the bacon and the sweetness of the shrimp. I'm gonna add a little fresh thyme. Some green onions. I don't like to cook the green onions too long in the broth, so I like them to still have that that real nice fresh green onion taste when it's when it's in the bowl. All right. When while Justin's finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check my fish, and it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and put it in the oven, and it's going to be about maybe eight minutes. All right. I'm going to get started on the uh, on the crawfish vinaigrette. Start off with uh, about a tablespoon of butter. Will that melt down really good? Now have some uh, fresh Louisiana crawfish. We're going to put that down in there. Just want to saute these up a little bit uh, just to, to get them warm through. And then I'll finish off with the, the remainder of the ingredients. All right, I'm going to season. Uh, the crawfish here with a little bit of the Tony Sasher's. This is more spice, less salt. Um, I have two different types of vinegar. This is just a, a, a rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna do about a, a half a cup of that. And this is a, a, a muscadine uh, vinegar. It's really strong. It's done in the style of a balsamic. So it's pretty strong. I only do about a tablespoon of that. All right, so I'm going to start to slowly add a little bit of olive oil to this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plate up the shrimp and grits. People like to have their grits standing up or stiffer, but I'm a big fan of it being nice and creamy and buttery. That way it kind of works as a, uh, almost like part of the sauce where you can kind of drag that shrimp through it and pick up some grits. Um, I mean, you could even mess around with this recipe and fold in some mascarpone or goat cheese or whatever you'd like, white cheddar. So there's your nice little uh, presentation of shrimp and grits. We'll start off with a little, uh, little bit of mixed greens. It's come from a, uh, a local farm from uh, Opelousas. I'm going to take a little bit of this piece of this amberjack, just put it right on, on there. Top it with a little bit of this crawfish vinaigrette. 